doing it so that we should learn from you so that even us we should raise our children until they are grown for me i salute her for what she's doing i salute her Hi guys, it's a girl, Lila Matams, also known as Galopa Z, a girl from Zambia. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that each time I upload videos, you will be notified that Umanakashwapa Zambia a post a video. Girl from Zambia has posted a video. In this video, I will be talking about a Nigerian YouTuber, Nello Okeke. She uploaded a video yesterday and this is my reaction. Before we get into that video, I would like to talk about what I'm wearing on my face because a lot of people ask me, what do you do to your skin? What's on your face? You, know, you look beautiful. I'm just using products called Beautiful You, which is my own brand. For those of you who don't know, I launched my own brand lipsticks called Beautiful You. Let me just say my own makeup line yeah so this lipstick i'm wearing is called rundu i have distributors across eight countries in africa and because of what's happening right now planes in the uk are grounded i'm based in the uk but i have distributors in nigeria as well i know most nigerians would like to watch this video so that's why i'm mentioning nigeria but if you are in any other part of europe i can send you these goods if you email me at beautiful you 533 at gmail.com this is my pressed powder i'm wearing my pressed powder on my face you see i look nice affordable you know no need to go to all those expensive places where they sell expensive powder and then i'm also wearing my own foundation on my face yes i have beat my face with my own foundation and the bottle looks something like this i'm just trying to wake up from my sleep guys i just woke up looks something like that and this is number number nine but i use number seven for my face yeah and then i'm also smelling good really good a girl's gotta smell good this is my own perfume called amour <laughs> get up z levels and this is how the box looks like i do even men's products as well so slowly but sure you will know this is a men's perfume it's called perfection amazing perfume you get a gift bag like that one as well white or black or pink okay let's talk about this video so nello okay um uploaded a video yesterday it was a sweet video her husband was in the background as well you know correcting her where she was making a few mistakes it, it was lovely to watch um it was so natural her kids were one of the kids actually was disturbing in the video and she would say go to your auntie you know it was so nice how did i know nello or kk i came across her video when she uploaded a video actually of her maid she has a maid which we call helpers obviously whom she did a face beat on her and it was so lovely to watch you know she this girl looked so beautiful she put a wig on her and and my thoughts were i, I wish she can also help this young lady go to school i don't know about their plans but it would be nice if that house help went to school and got herself a degree so that she could remember this family for what they have done for her i don't know their plans but that th those were my thoughts so i've watched her videos she does cooking videos she talks about her life she became viral when she uploaded a video of how to tie gele you guys know how i love gele i think that's one of the reasons why i even came across her videos because i love gele so i'm sure that was among the videos as well so yesterday she was talking about why she is a housewife because people 
keep asking her these questions. You've got a degree, you've got a master's. Why are you a housewife? And her response was amazing because then a lot of people assume that when we come on YouTube, we have nothing to do. That's why we come on YouTube, but they don't know that when you share videos on YouTube and those adverts that run on YouTube help us earn money. It's money to upload content on YouTube. So number one, that's her income, YouTube. And then she talked about how she sells products. She had a shop, which she's never shared really on her YouTube channel, but that was like her side hustle. Now, I listened to her speak about how her husband is so caring. I mean, she's happily married. She doesn't lack anything. In fact, she doesn't even really need to work. Hey, some people are blessed. I'm telling you, like really, really blessed. To me, when I heard her speak, it just reminded me of what the Bible says. If you are a Proverbs 31 woman, a woman of valor, a woman that submits to her husband, you will get the best marriage out there. Marriage is you, how you work it. And I also saw what the Bible says that, you know, a man leaves his father and his mother and marries his wife. He who findeth a good, a wife findeth a good thing. So the husband has found a good thing in Nello. That is why he's told her, I will provide. It hasn't sat in well with some other Africans. So Africans or some Nigerians feel, why should this girl be seated at home? Why should she be a housewife when the man is the one who's working, providing and all those things? Every family has their own dynamics. And just because now we have social media, we have you know the opportunity to speak up and criticize people you know that does not mean we can come in between a family and say ah, you should be working they know what they are doing suppose they run a real estate business where she's the one who goes and you know chases the tenants for rent or maybe they even have an office because such type of businesses you don't even need to work from you know the location of where your real estate is you can work from home you don't even need to rent an office but you can actually be making phone calls and chasing up rentals checking banks these days everything is online there's online banking so she could be a housewife technically for youtube but she is actually working on their side hustle when she mentioned that they actually sell cars yesterday i'm sure everyone was shocked like ah okay so they sell cars that's their side business. Apart from her husband working, taking her to all these lovely trips to Dubai, they also do their how, uh, side hustle on the side. Now, I, I got reflecting when she spoke about how blessed she is and she doesn't need to buy anything really because the husband provides even the money that she gets from youtube she gets a lot of money but she just uses it to just support here and there but she doesn't have to and i said god i want that blessing for my children <laughs> honestly because you know when we talk about african men in the african context that's the way it has been in the past and it's good when you see a young couple living that way because then you're thinking to yourself okay so these things are possible we forget this feminist um talk of no a woman should be a graduate a woman should not be in the kitchen a woman should not do all those things nero is a representation of a real african woman you can say she's at home but like she said, she is actually doing some side business. For me, given a chance, I would rather do that as well. Work from home, take care of my children, than me being the mother, the father, the provider, the hustler, you know, of the family. That's the way it is in the diaspora. You have to work hard to provide for the family. And without you relying on obviously a man in in the diaspora context it's half half bills 
you know so I, I understand maybe some of the viewers that she gets are people from abroad nigerians who feel ah she should be working now because they've lived abroad and now they understand the concept of let's share the bills that's how it is in the western world is 50 50 50 percent the man 50 percent the woman but in, in the way it's supposed to be originally ah, a woman carries a baby for nine months it's not easy after the baby is born men even move from their main bedroom they go and sleep in another room it's a woman who looks after the baby the tireless nights you know it's not easy making sure the baby is fed looked after washed everything and then for a man to say let's pay 50 50 you you parent me i'll pay water bill uh -uh. <laughs> so i am so glad that she has such type of a husband and it is a blessing for her for her to have a man like that some of us have to hustle even for child support i've never said this before but i'm telling you we have to hustle your own children you can't even give me five pounds ten pounds you have to hustle in the end we've even had to take things as far as the authorities to collect child support so when i see that there's men out there who are actually able to support their own children forget the fact that they are married who are able to say no i will take care of the family I love that. It just shows how African men were trained, you know. Some obviously have taken the Western culture, they want to do things their own, but this is a great representation of what we were raised to know as African men being this way. Now, I don't know why people are even worried about worried about the fact that she's not working when she has a degree in economics and a master's in I think business she said business administration I'm not so sure but <laughs> why should you be so worried about someone's qualifications people will say she's wasting her education no she's not her coming on youtube and sharing her stories she's using her intelligence from school as well when she's selling products as well you know the thing is the concept of going to school is what has made us africans even behind in so many things because we are trained that from primary school we go to secondary school then we go to college when we get a job but you find that even me who's got up to my master's level i don't find education fulfilling than business i've just told you that i'm selling my own makeup products did i need science to formulate makeup products no did i need geography to find out how i can have my own perfume no we are not taught the business skills in school that is why we, we find it so hard when we finish education, especially, this is African context, especially when we finish our university, we are stuck, and then we start the blame game of the government. Ah, Nigerian government is rubbish. Ah, Zambian government is rubbish. Ah, our government in Namibia is rubbish. Oh, our Kenyan government is rubbish. Because we have never learned that if you are in school, you are just there to help advance your thinking capacity but business is what will make you successful and then a job is just there as um what can i call it as something that is concrete and you know it's like security you you want um you always have finances every time but that's how we've been raised we think oh having a job is what we need we need a job we need to hold on to a job and many people are not happy even in their jobs so why should somebody be forcing herself to go to work because you have said uh, why should she be at home and then the qualifications she has are they going to run away they will never run away she will always have her education qualifications i myself am qualified but i'm doing a job different from my qualification does it mean that my qualifications will leave me? No, they will never leave me. I learned this when I was at university here in the UK. I went to University of Winchester on a full scholarship. And I remember meeting women who were 40, 50, 55 British women that had spent most of their years looking after their children till they were 16, 17. And believe you me, these women,
children never struggled in, 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 in school when we were studying at university. They never struggled. Why? Because they didn't have child care to, 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 to run up and down for. They didn't have issues of, oh, I need to go and pick up my child from school. They had no school runs. But whereas me, I had little ones. Mine were only like two and three when I was studying there. Believe you me, it was a struggle. It was a struggle in that even to get a placement, because with social work, you have to go on placements. To get a placement that was suitable with my family needs and everything, it was a challenge. But these ladies, any placement they gave them, they were there. They were on time, even in school. Believe you me, one of them even got a first class degree. This is someone who was a stay-at-home mom for more than 10 years was on government benefits eating government benefits but now she's even on the guardian newspaper of social work they even interview her she i think she's even a manager now because she was determined i finished my business my work of looking after the children now it's time for me to focus on my career i think that is the best path for any mom who has a support system if you have a support system it's good you can stay home you know i frown upon women that trust uh, their babies with nannies you know there's a scandal that came out in zambia where recently a nanny ran away with a baby just last year about november December, a nanny ran away with a baby went to kitwe and Thankfully, because people had posted pictures of the baby, the baby was found when this nanny was at a restaurant or somewhere in a salon and the police were alerted and that's how this baby went back to their, their parents. But the, the, the thing is, why did that situation happen? It's because in Africa as well, we're having women who are putting first their career before their families. They are putting their careers of okay i need to go to work they won't pay me maternity leave after three months i have to go back yes they do not pay you maternity leave after three months you need to go back to work but there are things you can do to work around which work for others you can also try so just because maybe it has never worked for you does not mean that it it never worked for nello for nello it is working so we have to even ask her how are you doing it so that we should learn from you so that even us we should raise our children until they are grown for me i salute her for what she's doing i salute the husband i appreciate what the husband is doing for her it just shows that you know there's good men out there and i am so 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 pleased for her that she can find herself in such a happy marriage you know when the husband was sharing how they met it's such a romantic time they went to a, a ceremony and then they met she was dancing that's how he just fell in love with her first sight like that and now they are married and obviously he told her i will love you forever i will provide i will look after you i'll take care of you and because of the love he has i look at the way the lady is glowing and we've also seen that Nello is a good cook. She's got a cooking channel. Uh -uh. Hey, cook for Olga. Hey, she can cook. She's cooking amazing dishes on her cooking channel. And she's just using her opportunity of staying home to teach skills of those women who are in offices, working nine to five, pushing their career, want to be top level up to manager majority of people who even work their way up they are not satisfied we will never be satisfied i was asking somebody that after phd is there another hdd you know there are some people who even want to push further than their phd qualifications no dispute to education education is important it's very very good but you find that majority of us who are educated women we are mothers we want to spend more time with our children. So that path of staying home a little bit with your children, wait for them to grow and then start pushing through your career, I think to me is a great plan. And if you can work around your kids, do things like, you know, working from home, having an office at home, it's even another great platform for those of you who would want to be distributors of my products i don't care which country you're coming from even if it's nigeria you can become a distributor in your country you can make money as well 
make some money with my products and then i advertise you on my youtube channel this is also another way you can make money when you are an affiliate to somebody who has a great platform like myself on youtube you will make money because people be like oh you're buying products by lily motams yes 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 lily motam sells her own products and people will buy from you you buy from me on herself so let's not limit our thinking capacity when I started my YouTube channel, I never in my life thought that one day I will even have a lipstick that says beautiful you by Lily Motams. Never. I never for one day thought that I would even have eyelashes that are under my brand. I never thought. I just thought I'll just come on YouTube and talk. But you see, YouTube trains you as well to be a business person. I've shared a video where I said there's a Japanese YouTuber I watched who said, if you can only have a thousand people that loyal, loyally, you know, they are your loyal subscribers, every month they buy even a t-shirt without fail. That's you making $20,000 without fail. So there's great platforms for you to make money. But the problem is we want to wait till we have a great opportunity or we want to have a big capital in order for us to push to where we need to go. You don't need a huge capital to get to where you need to go. If you are starting with your business now or whatever you're doing, believe you me, in a few years time, you'll be somewhere. Last year, I was selling my own weight loss tea. I made over 1,700 pounds. There are times when, because I work agency, which is zero contract hours. So when I work today, I get hours here, there, here, there, there. Sometimes, you, you, you know, it, it could be quiet like last year, but this year there's a lot of work because of the coronavirus. People don't want to work. So I've got lots of shifts. I'm even promoted now. So imagine, you know, you, you are not working that day. And then somebody says, can I have five packets of tea bags? And you're selling tea bags for like 20 pounds that's me making a hundred pounds just like that so don't limit yourself and don't think only work is what will reach you somewhere and just because nello has a degree and a master she should use it no we don't need to use our qualifications to go and sit down and be controlled by someone who will say do this do that do this do that i myself am to raise my capital for my business when i reach at the stage where i want to reach i will also stop completely and focus on youtube and focus on my business because my business needs my time but it's good that i'm also working because i can network and show people guys i'm selling my own perfume they buy from me when they get picked so it's also a good thing that i'm also networking so thank you so much guys i just wanted to comment on nello's video and i am really pleased for her that she is happily married and, and let's not dispute the fact that some people can be happily married. Marriage works. Like the were Jesus family says, a Kenyan couple. I've always celebrated this couple. This is also another young couple that is showing us that marriage can work in Africa. Forget about what is happening out there. And for me, what I also believe in what makes marriage work is when you put God at the center of your marriage. That's it. It's between you and God. God was there when you got married. That's why we get married at the altar. I've never been married, by the way, but that's why people get married at the altar. And when they get married at the altar, they declare, they say, this is why I'm in love with you. This is what is happening. And believe you me, God is the center of your marriage. He blesses your marriage and your marriage will flourish. That is why you see people like Nello saying, I am happily married because they made a decision to be together. And that decision came with love. That decision was not because of convenience of papers like the way it is here in the UK where people marry or even in America or wherever, they marry because they want to get documents and they are never happy. All they do now is womanize. Let's celebrate people who are happily married like the were Jesus family and Nello. It's a girl, Lena Motams, also known as Geno Wapazet. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button. And follow me on all social media platforms. It's simply at Lilimotams.